Good afternoon everyone, Alice here from Vancouver Financial Network. Today is November 23rd, 2021. Uh, we are talking about US indexes, uh, S&P, NASDAQ and US 30. Let's go to the chart, see what charts tell us. All right, let's talk about S&P 500 first. This is monthly chart for S&P as you see. We have very stretched above uh, above all the moving averages. Steel trend is up, nothing wrong with the trend. However, we are at the month of the November and we just hit all time high last week. And then this week, we are kind of like in getting into weakness. And at the beginning of the week, um, we have seen uh, some volatile action in a price action, especially this week is gonna be Thanksgiving and it's gonna be short week. Um, Thursday is going to be off day and Thanksgiving day. Friday is going to be half day. So market is going to be open just half day. So we have yesterday, today and tomorrow. Uh, it's kind of like a normal day, but it's going to be very, very light volume as we just traded um, 67 million for SPY, which is S&P 500 uh, ETF. Right. So this is monthly chart, by the way. And I'm looking for a kind of like a um, a correction. I'm not sure if you're getting back all the way to here. It's it's pretty it's pretty tough call to say that. But as, at least when we are above this uh, 4200, we are still in the bullish trend. So there is nothing wrong in the higher time frame so far. And if you're going to the just the smaller time for a little bit smaller time frame, going to the weekly, the weekly is kind of like a different scenario. Uh, if we are going to the weekly chart, uh, we are going to see. Let me just delete this. Right. So if you are going to the weekly chart, we are going to see uh, whenever we hit uh, like tw uh, 20 SMA, then this is going to be end of the correction. And we are kind of like at the top. It's kind of like overstretched. I don't know if you are gonna just uh, going sideways and going higher and higher. But if you are going to see like a correction, I'm not assuming anything. Uh, lower than this uh, 20 SMA on the weekly chart, which is going to be like 4487, 40, 4500. And I'm not sure if we are taking out this pivot low here. This pivot low on September, that's that was pretty solid. This is pretty nice uh, pivot that uh, we can respect that. As far as we are above this pivot, as far as we are above these moving averages, we are on the uptrend. So this is kind of like consolidation, retracement or pulling back to just regain the energy for another spike up. I'm not going to tell you exactly if we are at the major top. I know some some people are looking for major top this year, end of this year or something like that. No, we are not heading to the major top. However, the momentum is kind of like a falling. And as I see, when, there, when this blue line is above this dashed line, means like we are going higher and higher, but the momentum is falling. And when we are getting back to this moving average, or at least, let me just uh, show you at least uh, if you're getting back to, yeah, when we are getting to this uh, yellow line, which is gonna be uh, 4,500, that is going to be a solid support, all right? So I'm, I'm looking for kind of like a pullback to this area, then we are just bottoming, forming a bottom for another uh, new all-time high. All right, so let's go to a smaller time frame, which is going to be daily. I'm just covering daily for the smaller time frame. As you see, we are. Uh, this is this is like um, a scenario that I'm looking at. But right now, we are just hitting the SMA on daily, and as I just posted today, we are getting to the support. We just uh, bounce back. Nice tail here. But light volume though, uh, volume was pretty light and still we are above this 4630, which is which is pretty solid uh, pivot for, for the market. If we are taking out this pivot, then we are going lower and lower. So the downside, the next downside level is gonna be uh, 45 to 4570, which is, which is very, very nice area, by the way. And I'm expecting at least a solid bounce uh, when we are uh, reaching to this level. We are still here, we are not below this moving uh, average, but if we take out this moving average and we take out this pivot low here, we are going down to here and then small um, uh, solid bounce expected 
and probably we are going down to here and when we are getting down to here I'm sure everyone is getting bearish everyone's talking about okay this bull bullish trend is done is over and everyone getting bearish position and that's how we are just going to accumulate more and more so I'm looking for more long position if you're getting to here and here all right so I'm gonna let you know in the channel and uh, this is for S&P 500 let's go to NASDAQ NASDAQ is kind of like a different story because NASDAQ was pretty uh, sharp uh, after a September a September low it was very very sharp going higher and then higher but momentum was pretty pretty down here if you see the MACD look at this high and then look at this high momentum is falling like uh, there is no momentum here and now we are getting to the bearish momentum which is pretty nice and that's what we are expecting and here is the dash line here is the dynamic trend line as I just drafted by myself there's nothing uh, uh, technical behind it just uh, I saw that this line is uh, playing uh, very very nicely at least for now and as you see we have like a pivot here pivot here pivot here and then we're breaking out breaking down and then breaking up and then this pivot just form here on this line and we are kind of like coming together with SMA 20 EMA 21 and this dash line and that was that was enough that was enough for the support okay that was enough for the nice tail in daily uh, daily candle however if we are getting just consolidating here at this level let me just clean this if you are consolidating uh, here or if you are just rolling over back if you take out this level there are tons of uh, supports down there but I'm looking for to be honest I'm looking for this one is very very important for me at least for now this is a very very nice area for support like a 15,000 um, let's say 437 that is very very nice support area if we are getting here I think we are at the end of the correction I'm not sure if we are getting like a bounce from here or here probably we get a bounce but I think like Nasdaq has lots of uh, downside to go especially for next week and also the other weeks as well NASDAQ is going down and probably early December we are getting to the beginning of the new bullish momentum but right now momentum is down just respect that one and uh, don't don't go for long just because market gives us opportunity for two days all right so another one the last one is gonna be US 30 US 30 which is Dow Jones Air Industrial Dow Jones giving me buy signal to be honest because Dow Jones if you remember Dow Jones start its uh, correction last week and here is just the ABCD and now we are positive <laughs> we are positive day with a nice dragonfly doji but this hammer just goes down and just uh, smashed all the stop losses that people just put it there but it's okay like again this is nice hammer by the way we need follow through if we get follow through especially above 35,900 981 then it's gonna be a bullish momentum for Dow Jones but so far Dow Jones hold up pretty well and there is nothing wrong with Dow Jones I know we are below 20 SMA but look at this this is MACD this is a stochastic and just RSI getting below 50 percent which is which is okay just for the correction and we have like a two weeks correction for Dow Jones there is nothing wrong and Dow Jones is kind of like giving me buying signal here same as here same as September low and if you are getting like a more buying signal here if price stays there like this then we are going to see the Dow Jones going to another new all-time high right so even sooner than Nasdaq and S&P just because Dow Jones is kind of like a leading <clears throat> it's kind of leading in correction and it's kind of leading in like a reversal and right now we are getting close to the bottom for Dow Jones if you're going down probably uh, I'm not I'm not expecting more downside for the Dow Jones at least for this week probably next week if you are getting like everything is getting ugly like we have a massive signal or something like that this is the candle and this is the area like 30 let me say 34,675 that's gonna be your bottom line like that's this is going to be 61 retracement Fibonacci and that is a nice shot for long position and this 
wide range bar is going to be very very important for us so we are looking for even more downside if market gives us opportunity and that would be great opportunity for because we have very very good uh, opportunity after that and I'm not gonna selling it anything uh, in very very short target if you're getting to here and, and if you buy it all right so if you like our analysis please just subscribe to our channel smash the like button and also if you have any comments just go to the chat box put out your comments I try to answer all of that ASAP thank you very much have a good day bye bye